How's <laughs> Lorna today? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> you're, so, you're still laughing at him. Well, we were talking to Roy Keane. I know lots of people around the country are very excited to hear Roy Keane on the radio chatting to Dermot and Dave. This, I was excited. I was beside myself. Lorna's husband, Timmy, was excited as well, but it didn't work out for Timmy. How's Lorna today? <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> you're, so, you're still laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> Lorna, I, I can't understand a word you're saying, but I'm loving the fact that you're laughing at him. Come here, get closer to the phone there and tell everybody what happened poor Timmy. I went to Lidl and I had four missed calls off our younger daughter, Rebecca. And when I answered the phone, she said, um, we locked out into the utility and we can't get them out. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they locked him in for like just for the crack or, or by accident. <laughs> no, you're gone again. We can't understand you because you're laughing too much. Come back to the phone, Lorna. <laughs> He was locked uh, in there for 10 minutes. They did it on purpose for oh, the last... Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. And did he miss the whole Roy Keane chat? Everything. <laughs> yeah. Is he with you he's, now or is he gone somewhere else? No, he's... <laughs> he's not impressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He can't even find headphones to listen to the podcast. Oh, no. Poor Timmy. Everything's falling apart for Timmy. Oh, we'll have to email him the MP3 and he can just listen on the computer or something like yeah, that. Oh, God. Yeah, that would be good. The poor creator. Oh, God come love him. here. And did you, did you get nice stuff in Needle while you were laughing at him? I went over for the breakfast. <laughs> so he, he was locked in there and he hadn't even had his breakfast. The poor fellow was starving. Best kids ever. Do you want uh, to talk to Timmy? <laughs> I don't know if I if I ever want to talk to anyone else except you, Lorna. But go on, throw Timmy on there for a sec. <laughs> Some bunch of goals. <laughs> <laughs> you Timmy. won't mind, but the two girls are thirteen and seventeen, and the wife is forty-four. Right? <laughs> yeah, they're well, not. No, sorry, she's forty-two. Oh 42. God, yeah, you got it. I, I heard the dig there as you said forty-four, and followed me to you by a punch sound. Come here. <laughs> so you poor fellas, you were, they did it on purpose, do you? Yeah, all I could see was eyeballs looking in the keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> I'm traumatized. <laughs> And you're, you know what it's like, Dave, when you're trying to pack for a holiday. Yeah. It's stressful as it is, and there they are, they're locking me in then for 10 minutes. <laughs> when are you going on your holidays, Timmy? We're actually going today as well. Uh, not a minute too soon, says you. <laughs> oh, jeez. I'm going to leave them. I'm leaving them on their own. I'm taking off. That's it. <laughs> Bunch of gold. <laughs> Timmy, this might be the best phone call we've ever had in our lives. Thanks so much. And I'm sorry no they didn't do it, but we'll have to get the podcast here in some way. You listen on the plane or something and you can hear well, Roy Keane. I would. I was looking for my earphones and I think they're after hiding them. I'll never get to hear them. <laughs> Take care, lads. All right, Timmy. Have a good holiday. See you later. Up uh, yeah. go <laughs> Dermot and Dave. Conversation, crack, and the music you love. Today FM. It all happens here. Today FM.